And finally, let's meet a local nonprofit group who's dedicated to supporting the arts in our community, one brushstroke at a time. If you have any interest in art, the El Segundo Art Association welcomes you. For nearly 30 years, the nonprofit organization is dedicated to connecting local artists, making art, and learning about art as a community. Since the appointment of their new president, Curtis Green, they plan to do just that by building on several fundamental blocks to their association. We're here at Library Park where the El Segundo Art Association is having one of their signature outdoor paintouts. A paint out is, um, well, basically it's sort of like a current term these days to gather a bunch of plein air artists together in order to paint outdoors. Plein air is a French term that means outdoor. Currently, it is described as an art trend of painting outdoors. The essence of the El Segundo Art Association and the relationship with the paint out idea, um, it's, you know, when you have an art association, you typically think that you're going to have a group of artists that are going to be active. There are artists who work in the studio and there's work, artists who work out in, in the plein air. And so in order to, even if you're going to work in the studio, you're still going to go out and do some outdoor sketching. So it's very important that we get out and actually do that. Today's paint out drew in various artists, including painters, drawers, and even photographers. What are you painting today? Uh, that tree over here. Thought I'd take a portion of the tree. It looked kind of nice. Recently I've been kind of studying tree forms and trunk forms, so I'm just fascinated by these, and um, I'm more of an abstract artist, so my paintings are less representational and a little bit more interpretive, and I, I'm using my paint a little bit more in a calligraphy fashion. I'm doing collages in a, in a sort of an interesting way. I use foam board that has a sticky backing on it, and what I do is I draw a design on the back of the sticky board, I cut out the shapes and then I peel out the shape and use that as a template. And then I put it on the paper and stick it on there and you don't have to use glue because the backing is um, sticky. I actually uh, kind of uh, focus on nature photography. Uh, hummingbirds, squirrels, flowers, uh, trees, um, anything that's microscopic. Um, I get really into the um, macro side of photography. I have been doing drawings, uh, looking at this beautiful high school uh, architecture and uh, I'm pulling some life from it. It's a completely new field that I'm about to explore. It's very interesting and uh, the good thing is the canvas is speaking back to me so I'm going to stick a little bit with this technique. Palettes, oil paints, Canvas, brushes, these are all terms we think of when art comes to mind. But just how are they used? Here are the details. Curtis, can you tell me what you're doing here? Yeah, um, I'm actually set up for doing some plein air painting today. Can you tell me what this painting is? Actually, it's a canvas board, and um, <clears throat> it's a typical uh, uh, ground that we'll use for these type of paint out sessions. A canvas board is uh, different than actually a stretched canvas. So either way you're going to have a fibrous canvas and you can actually wrap that around a board which is just uh, you know like a thin piece of cardboard or you can actually stretch the canvas around wooden stretcher bars. What I'm going to need to do is, is find a subject out here in life that will um, arrange itself nicely as a composition on that board. Tell me what you're holding right here. This is a palette. I guess you could call it a mixing board and with the palette you can actually put the different pigments, the pure pigment, and then around the edges typically, and then you can um, mix them all in here in the center. So let's talk a little bit about the paint you have here. What kind of paint is this? It's basically oil paint, which is a pigment that's uh, suspended in an oil. What is signature about oil paint? Um, I think what it is, it's like it's been a sort of a, the classic standard idea of like what a painting is. Uh, for many years, I think, when you go to the, the museums and so forth, you see all the great masters, uh, most of them are in oil, and they provide a great luster. Um, there's a lot that you can do with them. You can really actually uh, create most of the, a, a wide range of effects with oil paint, more so than most other paints. 
How do you know when to stop as far as how many yeah. colors to that's get? It's a, a great question. <laughs> it really is because the, the question basically is how do you know when to stop creating the piece or how do you know when to stop you know, using so much paint and, and so on and so forth. There's an idea out in the painting community called limited palette. A limited palette could literally be a black, a white, and a yellow ochre and no more than those three. And you can get a wide range of uh, very pleasing effects with just those three colors. I talked more with Curtis Green about the various procedures of painting. The first thing one does is frame the painting with the cutout board. The second step is to line the horizontal and vertical dimensions from the cutout board to the actual canvas board. Now it's time for me to try. But actually the way things, uh, we can really express yourself very well in the brush is to actually flip your hand over and lay it right in there just like that. And then when you're ready to make a mark, That's great. That's better than mine. <laughs> Another vital part to the Art Association is the two art shows held every year at the El Segundo Library. Artists can display their work once in the spring and once in the fall. There is also a youth category for kids 17 and under. The turnout's been pretty good. We uh, average anywhere from like 75 up to 100 artists who, uh, or actually 100 pieces that end up uh, into the show. And each artist can bring uh, up to three pieces. We have still life and landscape and those as, as categories. And then each show will have like a special feature category. And one of them recently was Beautiful El Segundo was one of our feature shows. And the last one was May Flowers as it took place in May. Artists who win are awarded with ribbons. Jim Drummond won first place for one of his artworks and was also awarded several other ribbons. Oh, it always makes me feel good. And I get to hang it up on the wall for a while, then I put it in a drawer. In past shows, I've received a first place in the flower category with my photograph. And I've re received several honorable mention awards, a second award, and a third place award. Receiving the awards or the ribbons makes me feel really good, makes me feel like people enjoy my photography. It was actually an amazing experience. Uh, I didn't know that El Segundo uh, have that many artists and uh, I have been enjoying uh, and uh, enjoying their art. People of all ages and skill levels are welcome to join the El Segundo Art Association. It keeps the caliber uh, nice on, on one end and, and we get to learn from each other and that type of thing. Green also has other goals for the group. People don't know we exist and so uh, we're looking forward to actually becoming more of an active viable association to uh, be able to take what we do and maybe um, interact with uh, some of the coffee houses or some of the restaurants or something like that and you know kind of join in on some of the events to you know help uh, with the businesses around here too. Members pay an affordable yearly fee that covers their whole family. For those who want to join, Green has a message. Whether you're young or you're elderly or you're in between, uh, you know, starting out or really enthusiastic, you know, come on and participate. The third primary prong of the organization involves a local art house right here on Main Street. We have a relationship with the El Segundo Art Museum uh, that's just recently because the El Segundo Art Museum just started, um, what, uh, just last year as a matter of fact. And in so doing, they've struck up a relationship with us and we get the opportunity as members to go and visit the museum. Members of the El Segundo Art Association benefit from its relationship with the El Segundo Art Museum. Today they're having a live portrait session right here in its gallery. What's happening here is we have, uh, as you can see, a live model. And uh, that's again, it's a, it's a traditional type of arrangement, once again, um, where we, an artist will work with his medium with the model. And uh, so, you know, if you're going to work figuratively at all or just do any kind of drawing, even if it's just objects, you learn a lot about drawing from figure. And so the, the museum's provided a great opportunity for the public, not only just us, but the public to come in and, and work like this, it's great. Private tours of the art museum are another special perk of being an art association member. One of the cool things about ESMOA is that we have fine art here. You know, we have art that you could see at the Getty or LACMA. We get the first word. 
you know, and so, and we also, like I say, we get sort of the special treatment. It's like uh, anybody can come to the opening, but if you're part of, remember, we actually get sort of the private opening with, uh, you know, your, our own uh, special uh, bottle of wine, our own special little carrots and things like that. Not only is it important for an artist to continue working, you know, with their subject matter, but it's also important to read about it, talk about it, and of course, view and go look at the work that's uh, on exhibit at the museum. So how does viewing art inspire an artist? What you do when you're working, uh, you're kind of joining in to this long heritage, this community of, of work that's been uh, in existence or created, you know, throughout the, throughout the centuries, right? And now you get to add to it. And so for me, looking at work, uh, and then knowing that I'm going to go make my own is, means that I'm going to now add to the dialogue. El Segundo Art Association members wielding their paintbrushes, pencils, and camera also contribute to that dialogue. Today, artists will draw away in this live portrait session, but the local art organization will have more in store for the future. Reporting for El Segundo TV, I'm Amy Liu.